In this video, we are going to paint a beautiful seascape. This is the second painting in watercolor seascape series. And this is the sketch needed for this painting. You can download this image from the link given in the description. Stick the masking tape over the horizon as we are going to paint the sky with clouds using wet on wet technique. First, I wet the sky portion of the paper. I mix cobalt blue with little amount of radian hue to paint the sky. While the paper is still wet, I am painting the sky leaving some white area for the clouds. This is called negative painting technique. That is, in this technique, we are going to paint around the clouds to create the clouds. That is, instead of directly painting the clouds, we are going to paint the background, that is the sky, allowing the subject to emerge from the unpainted areas. While wetting the sky portion, make sure that there is right amount of water on the paper. If you overweight the paper, then the pigment will run into the clouds area. After painting the sky, I tilt the board and remove all the excess pigment that is collected near the tape. After that, allow the paper to dry completely. Now my paper is completely dry, so I am removing the masking tape. Next, I wet the bottom portion, leaving the boat untouched. It is okay to wet the shadow part of the boat. To paint the sea, I mixed cobalt blue with equal amount of verdian hue. Be ready with the pigments on your palette. After wetting the bottom portion, paint the sea as shown in the video. After painting the sea water, I am leaving some white space for the waves which I am not going to define anything, just leave it as a white space. I paint the beach sand by using the mix of permanent orange and cobalt blue. When you mix orange with cobalt blue you get brown color dilute this mix so that you get light value of that brown color now allow the paper to dry completely i mix brown with naples yellow and diluted it to paint inside the boat After painting inside the boat, allow it to dry completely. Using the mix of cobalt blue and permanent orange, I create brown and using that, I am painting the shadow of the boat. Using the same color mix of permanent orange and cobalt blue, I paint the shadow of the paddle. 
using the same color mix but with more amount of orange in it I paint the paddle of the boat To paint the darkest part of the paddle, I used the mix of permanent orange and cobalt blue in which the mix has more cobalt blue than the orange. Next I paint the boat using permanent orange. You can see I use minimal amount of colors in a painting that is in this picture we are using only three colors that is Woodian hue, cobalt blue and permanent orange and we can create variety of colors using just these three colors. We are going to use the same mix that is the cobalt blue and permanent orange mix to paint the shadow parts inside the boat. I am adding the reference picture in the description. When you look into the reference image you can identify that I have minimized the amount of details present inside the boat so that we can make a quick study about the boat and the shadows inside the boat and outside the boat. As I am trying to make a video within 10 minutes so I reduce the amount of details present inside the boat. If you wish you can add more details to your painting as in the reference image. One important point that I want to share with watercolor beginner is about the color value. That is, if you want a dark value, then mix less amount of water to the pigment. If you want light value, then mix surplus amount of water to the pigment to get the light value. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in another video. Until then, take care. Bye bye from Prema.